Hey, welcome back everyone, Don here. Thanks for coming along for the ride. It's Friday afternoon. You know what, I'm gonna go for a spin. But I'm not going on the rainy need. I'm gonna take the little 570 out. So this is my first good real burn with this machine. The uh, 2022 Can-Am Outlander 570 XMR. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a workout today. We've got 57 kilometers on it. So we're past the belt break-in period. She's still under that 300 kilometers engine break-in though. So we're not gonna go too crazy on it. It's peppy when you have it sport mode. What's gonna be a really good test is this corner up ahead here. It's not always about horsepower. This lightweight setup is a ton of fun. First impressions, these tires work well in the snow. Okay, here's some of my first impressions already. The first thing I notice with the 28, well, everyone says they're more like a 27 inch tire. Your center of gravity is a lot lower. So uh, it doesn't feel like you want to tip over and you can really rail it around corners and you can really break the back end loose. But the first thing, my really first impression I wanted to say from the seat of the pants impression is the shocks. I just pounded it down uh, that ruddy trail pretty good just to see what it would do. And it was great. So I have no doubt my wife gonna have a, a pretty cushy ride when she rides this thing. Okay, next step, we gotta get up this big hill climb. All right, we're gonna need to get rid of the beans up the hill here. Hopefully it's not icy. Uh, definitely better put it in four-wheel drive now. Gonna need it getting up this hill. That was funny. I remember the last second there was a log there. Jumped over it like nothing. The suspension on this thing works really well. I'm really happy with it. It handles really nice. One of the big things with the handling is it has a skinny wide setup, meaning the tires on the front are narrower than the tires on the back. It makes handling a lot more precise. This thing turns like no problem to turn it right around. Well, a great comparison would be to compare the turning radius of this with my Renegade. Yeah, that's something we could do another time. Now don't get me wrong, this 570 XMR package is a great option, but once you experience the power of the 1000 engine, there really is no going back. I would highly recommend this package to just about anyone, whether you're going to hit lots of mud or mainly just stay on the trail. You can't go wrong with it. 
Well, that's it, story time with Dan. If you're someone that's in the market for one of the smaller bore engines, or you're really not sure which one you wanna try, the 570, the 650, or even the 850, why don't you check out this video right here?